All right, so check this out. We have some normal boring text. Now we have text on a circle and then text right side up. How did I do that? Well, seven easy step-by-step -step instructions coming up right now. All right, so step number one is creating a new document. Any size will work, but I do recommend a resolution of 300 when working with text in GIMP. Let's go ahead and click OK and create our new document. Next, we're going to add a couple of guides to, well, guide us when we create our circle path. So let's go up to image, down to guides, new guide by percent. We're going to do 50 for the vertical and the horizontal. So go ahead and add those in. All right, step number two is creating the circle path. So let's grab our ellipse select tool with the letter E. Now, before you create your circle, there's a couple things we need to do to make sure it's exactly where we want it and the shape that we want. So in the tool options, make sure you have expand from center selected. That way your circle will be perfectly in the center of your document. And then you want fixed aspect ratio with a ratio of one to one to create a perfectly round circle. Once you have that, go ahead and click in the center and drag out to create your selection. And now we need to convert that to a path. So let's go up to select and click on the path. Let's go ahead and deselect with select none or shift plus control or command plus A to deselect. Now there's nothing visible. We can't see that path. So we need to go into our paths panel. If you don't have that visible, go up to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and click on Paths here, and then click right here to turn that path on or to make it visible. Step number three is adding some text. So let's grab our text tool with the letter T. Go ahead and use any font you want. Go ahead and start in the tool options here. I'm going to use Oswald Bold, which is a free font from Google. So do a search for Google fonts and you can download hundreds of fonts for free. Now for the size, I'm going to go ahead and start off with 125. I may need to adjust it, but I'll start off with that. And then as far as the color, it doesn't really matter because we're going to have to fill in the color again in the next step. And you'll learn why in just a second. Let's go ahead and type out our first line and I'm going to type out. Let's do wrap your text. I'm going to click on my move tool back to the text tool and do a second line. I'm going to do right side up. All right. Hit your escape key to deactivate the text tool. And that means step number four is next. So what we're going to do now is apply our first line to our path. Let's go back to our layers panel here and I'm going to put the right side up layer below the other one. And let's go ahead and turn this one off for now. Make sure you have your first line selected or the top line. And let's right click on it and select text along path. And boom, we have some text along the path. The only problem is if we turn this off is it's transparent. So now we need to fill it in before we can do that. Let's go ahead and create a new layer. Let's call it top line. Make sure you fill it with transparency. Click OK. Now we need to convert this path to a selection so we can fill it in. Go back to your pass panel and make sure you turn off the selection. Make sure the wrap your text is selected. Then go up to select and then choose from path to add that selection. Now we can go ahead and turn this one off and let's go back inside the layers here and let's grab our bucket fill tool. And now you can fill it in with whatever color your heart desires. I'm going to go ahead and go with, I'll go with this orange. Go ahead and fill that in and deselect and boom, you have text on a path. How cool is that? Let's go ahead and rotate that now with our rotate tool with shift plus R and that's right here on your toolbar if you want to grab it from there. And then you can click and rotate from your canvas or you can do it from this panel right here. Now I want to make this perfectly aligned here. So I'm going to grab a guide by clicking on my ruler and dragging it down. If you're not seeing this ruler here, 
go up to view and select show rulers from here. All right, I'm going to grab my move tool now because I need to move that guide down just a little bit. And if you're not moving the guide, make sure in the tool options you have pick a layer or guide selected. All right, I'm going to go back to my rotate tool and then I'll go ahead and begin rotating that once more to align with that guide. Click enter or return and then you can move that guide out of the way by clicking and dragging it back up to the ruler. All right, so step number six is to repeat those steps with right side up or your bottom line or second line. So let's go ahead and go back to our pass and select our path and turn it on so we can see it. Let's go back to the layers panel, right click and select text along a path. Now, when we fill it in and rotate it, it will be upside down. If that's what you want, great. If not, then there's another step you have to take. But before I show you how to do that, I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. All right, so step number seven, making your text right side up. So no longer going to be upside down once you know the trick. And that is a crucial step that we didn't do previously when we applied this text to the path. So we can't fix this layer to make it right side up. So we have to start over. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off this bottom line. I'm going to create a new layer called right side up. Let's go into our paths and let's select our selection path and turn it on. Now, in order to make your text right side up, you're going to need your flip tool to make that happen. So you can go inside of this group here and select your flip tool. And the keyboard shortcut is shift plus F. Now there's one more crucial thing you have to do, and that is make a selection in the tool options because right now by default, the transform option is layer. So it's going to flip your layer and not the path. To flip the path, you're going to click right here. Now when you come over here and click on your path, well, nothing happens and nothing will until we transfer our text to the path. So let's do that. Go back to your layers panel, select your text, right click and select text along path and boom, it's right side up or it will be once we complete the last steps, which are converting your path to a selection, filling it in with your color of choice and then rotating the text into position. How cool is that? I love it.